I'm walking with a friend at some petroglyphs here in southern Utah. We are near one of the state parks and there just happens to be evidence of uh, ancient Indians up here, including some uh, remnants of dwellings, some petroglyphs. So we are on our way to take a look at those. Snow Canyon State Park in Southern Utah. It's really spectacular. We're about to go do a hike to find some petroglyphs, but we've come up to this um, sort of overlook down into the park. Amazing. Over the course of an afternoon, myself and a friend explored just a small amount of Snow Canyon State Park, which is in the southwest corner of Utah. Just a few miles from St. George, southern Utah is well known for its desert national parks, including Zions National Park and Bryce Canyon National Park, but sprinkled throughout the region are lesser known but still spectacular state parks. As part of our exploration, we found various names of early pioneer settlers to the area carved up on the rock walls of the canyon. Snow Canyon is named after early Mormon settlers, Lorenzo and Erastus Snow. It was designated as the Utah State Park in 1958. Adam Look at that, pioneer names. Good. Yeah? Yep. Uh, under this little alcove right here? Yeah, look at that. Look at the names up there, the pioneer people. Nubler. Yeah. So 1894, look at that. Samuel, is that Wiltwer? Witter. Witwer. Witwer. Harme Kubler, March 4th, 1881. Huh. Samuel Witwer, Albert Graf, October 18th, 1894. So interesting. Within distance of Snow Canyon was a petroglyph site known as the Anasazi Valley Trail. It also had remains of ancient human dwellings of antiquity, which was a bonus find. So you can see behind me is Ivan's Utah, and Snow Valley State Park is just behind them, and I'm out exploring some petroglyphs right now, but right beside me is an archaeological site for an ancient dwelling of Indians, the Indian people that used to live here. And so let me just show you that really quick because this is just incredibly cool. So this is an archaeological site for an ancient set of dwellings. You're looking at the remains of a 1,000-year-old ancestral Puebloan farmstead. It is one of many sites in the Santa Clara River Reserve that preserves evidence of the daily lives of ancient farmers who grew corn, squash, and beans along the river. In 2006 and 2007, archaeologists and students from Brigham Young University excavated this site, exposing eight small rooms used for crop storage. They recovered plant remains, animal bones, and artifacts, including stone tools, pottery shards, and an abalone shell pendant that was probably traded from as far away as the Pacific coast. So we're approaching the petroglyphs up here. People are already up there. How cool is this? Etched in stone. Messages from the past. The image is packed into stone that you see here called petroglyphs. They were made by Native Americans thousands of years ago. They used stone tools to create the designs, removing the dark manganese rich surface coating called desert varnish to expose the lighter base rocks. Wow, very cool. The landscape here is staggeringly amazing. Check this out. That's amazing. Oh, here, Chris. And then you come around, you swing around, and then look at the petroglyphs. Each one. 
didn't have any longhorn steers at that time. Look at that. Look at those. Look at that squiggly one. That's cattle so interesting. Come, the cattle only got here with Spaniards. Yeah. We're hunting to see if we can find some more petroglyphs, but just the scenery out here is spectacular. This is amazing. Look at this. Yeah. Here we are walking up to this. Little spirals, a snake looking. Uh huh. There's something over here. Oh, yeah, look at you can see him. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so watch where you walk so you don't walk on them. Oh, look at the spirals. Oh, that's so cool. We got great lighting for them right now, too. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so you can see some of the petroglyphs there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Well, my friend's dog is lost, so we're just out here exploring to see if we can find him. Lotto! I'm wondering if we ought to get down and, and so where we can look up. Sort of look down into the valley, get down there so we down can... There we look back up into the rocks. Yeah, okay. Should we head back down sort of over that way and then go down in there? Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, you can. So we found my friend's dog. He had gone down to the car and was waiting for us. We thought he was down in the valley, dead or something. 